Welcome back, my friends. We beat Bayer Leverkusen in between 3-1. Talk about an up-and-down club. I don't understand what has happened to them. They got relegated, and I remember everybody in the comments being like, whoa, what happened? Re-promoted, finished 14th, finished 6th, and now back in 16th. Very odd. Chelsea and Club Bruges today, no matter what happens. Let's go. This is how we're lining up, my friends. We are away. Um, the only real changes, right? We've got Valdez in because um, Scarlett has got pulled knee ligaments. He's back in two days. Conceição's still out for another one to four days with uh, pulled ankle ligaments or one of the. They've got pulled ligaments. So Kai Brewer makes the bench as our backup right back. David Hanko, Ryan. Still not, I mean, he's on a 7-3-4 in his last five games, but, you know, one of those is a 9.2, and then the rest is kind of meh. Um, Metin Yilmaz, Balogun, and Wahid. Everybody else is pretty much the usual suspects. It says we should go cautious. I know we're away from home, but it's like, what are you going to, cautious, gagan pressing? Come on, assistant manager. All right, my friends. They've, they've, they've swung by 4-0-1 in their last five. I guess we're wearing the the yellow third kit today. The Schalke fans here, you can see in the in the background, wearing lots of yellow. We'll show them, I guess. Again, if we lose here, it's so devastating because we we could like lock it up that early. I'm not really anticipating winning. Let's just be clear. But can you imagine the seeds? <clears throat> oh, for a second there, I was like, oh, set piece for us. I just said yellow, and then I saw blue and went for it. Origi on the wrong side of the pitch diving in this is this is not good oh okay graven butch graven butch costas is on a yellow two and a half minutes in that's probably not good is it he got to that as well where's a nil mate be a monster my six yard box no one ah you know, another highlight in the first 10 minutes in our defensive third is, yeah, it's offside. That was offside, wasn't it? Oh, dear. What is with the play and back to the keeper? Origi tracking back and then flicks it to no one because he'd be flicking it to himself in that position. What are you doing, son? Oh, dear. Oh, come on. Origi's helping out, kind of. I mean, he's getting in the way. Now Anel's out of position. Oh, Rigi! Rigi, lovely stuff. DK can't get to that, though. And then Vieira decides to not run. Hudson Adoy. Again, if you get two highlights the first 10 minutes in your defensive third, you're thinking bad things. Penman will take the blame for that. His decision to come out was a rash one, says the commentary. I think he was closing the angle down. I don't really agree. Do you agree with the commentary team? Oh, boy. Our wingbacks are both on yellows. And it's another high... Oh, dear. Is it going to be one of those games? It's going to be one of those games, lads. Let's do a little early encourager. 20-minute encourage. Okay, settle. Se oh. We haven't been out of the out of our half that we have seen in 23 minutes. Mason Mount over. The entire back line is on yellows, except for Adele. Oh, oh. Can we? Yes, we're in the attacking half for a, a, a microsecond. Okay, okay. We're nearing their goal. Origi, DK. Oh, he wrong-footed the keeper. If, they, if that had been more on target, I think that might have gone in. I mean, that's obvious, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if the keeper stops that. Look, oh, Jakic is on a yellow too. Oh, my good. The referee has got his cards out. He's trying to settle us all down. Um, I'm going to say you've been terrible, lads. Say, you weren't that bad. And I'm going to, hey, all of you. You know, you kind of can't gag and press and stay on your feet. I mean, you could. You could, like, boogity, boogity, boogity at them and, and get in the way. But, like, not really, right? That seems like a poor idea. <clears throat> Chipped into nobody. Cool. I mean, DK was there, but that was a low, low uh, success type thing. He's offside. He's offside. 
That was a lovely finish, too. That's so unfortunate, because it was a lovely finish. First time, swings it in, but he's offside. He's clearly offside. He was offside? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, but yeah. When I could see it, I'm like, you know, the PC goes, oh, we should have played something counterattacking. It's like, wh we haven't done that all season, you know? Oh, he's offside too, isn't he? Oh, dear. What a save by Penman! And it's like, oh, it's, and he wasn't offside corner. Six point, eight, that took him to a 6.8 right there. Vieira is knackered. It says we should bring on Balogun to play on right wing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought that was a penalty uh, highlight or red card. Lofts it way over. Vieira, even though he's tired, is there. And then gets dispossessed because he's tired. Oh, dear. Oh, we've got a man advantage. We, oh, we throw it straight back to... Oh, is, was that was... Okay, sorry. Was that... Um, were we playing... Uh, were we, we being gentlemen and scholars there? So that they could score? Is that... Like, we caused the injury, so we throw it to him? Is that what happened? Like, genuine question. Because otherwise, it was a terrible throw in. <laughs> it's gotta be one or the other. Um, oh my goodness, look at the ratings. I mean, Origi can play there, and then we'll play Balogun in a more familiar role. Or, n no. N no. Wahid can play there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. Well, he's done the job as an inside forward. I'm not saying he's amazing, but, you know, needs must in the Champions League. Come on, boys. A little encourage. No. Okay, I was going to frowny faces for encouragement. It just hadn't, it hadn't, it hadn't, it hadn't I, I was yelling across the pitch to the throw in. Good block, and then he just stands there. Okay, Fowler, what you got, son? <clears throat> Fresh legs. Okay, DK, he's got two runners. Oh, mate, you had runners. Oh, it's too... He, he waited too long. Well, he was there. If he saw him earlier, that that is a better chance, I think. But he hath not seen him earlier, my friends. Okay. We just... I'll take a draw at this point. Well, he'd in acres of space. Oh, and then he holds it up, plays it back. Oh. Gerardo kind of took that off uh, Simon's feet, didn't he? I think Simon's was making a run up to that. Oh. Oui, oui, oui. Is our entire backline going to miss the next game? <laughs> oh dear. Um It's not it's not great. I mean Kyber well, Kyber is like uh, my God. We don't really have sub. I mean, like, this, you know, welcome to the Champions League, I guess. I don't know what to do. I think we're not going to make any subs, to be honest with you. I don't think, I don't think that makes sense. Come on, boys, demand more. Let's go. I guess we can do one thing. Uh, Wahid can come up here. <laughs> Gossas can go there. And Ryan Aitonore can come up and try and do a job. We might as well go very attacking in the last, whatever, six, seven minutes. You know? I just shouted. We're not going to get a single highlight. One more. One more encouragement, lads. It's not. I, I was again. I saw the blue. It's like, oh, chance a corner at the end. It's not. It's not our corner. <clears throat> That's gonna be it. I mean, you'd go like, hey, you know, expected a one nil away from home is not really all that bad in the group stage, right? Um, but it, oh, it just would have been nice to lock it up. Let's see. Okay, Monaco and Club Bruges have not played yet, so there's still a. Ch no, there's not a chance. We we can't qualify today. I I could do I could do math. Yeah, we all know I could do math. Well, this is kind of cool. Oliver gets an opportunity to take on one of our rivals, <laughs> Rotweiss Essen, 
But, uh, you know, for a first gig as a manager, he's not half bad. I like it. I just have to show this to you, my friends. We smashed Hanover 4 0. I'm going to sh just show you the goals here. Salazar pings it forward. Who is it? It's Wahid. Smashes it home. Okay, that's the 20th minute. Not bad. Not bad. While we're waiting here, I'm going to turn the sound on so we can enjoy the crowd reaction. Salazar, Wahid beats his man. Get in. Scarlat, back from injury. David Hanko, Simons, Wahid smashes it home. Hat trick in the 54th minute. Having a bit of a game. Ball in. Balogun brings it down. Turns. Wahid smashes it home. He gets a quad, my friends. And then after the international break, we play Armenia Bielfeld and smash him 3 0. Hey, who is it? It's Wahid. Smacks it home. Runs onto it. We did play control. I kind of feel like we're running out of our legs here. So we played control. Ball it over the top. Keeper comes flapping at it and misses. Bit of a kick clash today. Mistake by FM. Wahid doinks it in. He scores seven goals. Sorry about your eardrums. Seven goals in two games, my friends. Um... The, the four, four goal game was a 10.0. This game was a 9.2. And we've offered him a contract for like 92 grand. Now, I was able to get rid of the, like, it was like, if he makes five international appearances or gets to five caps, we'll pay him 110. I'm like, no. So I don't know if he's going to accept it. It says that he's going to take his time doing it. There's Atalanta, Bayer, Leverkusen, Cagliari, Mainz, and Napoli. It's a month before the window opens. I think he still goes because his value's up uh, beyond, like, the 45 million release clauses in the middle. But literally in two games, he went from six goals to 13. And I was like, I kind of, I kind of have to, I have to offer that a contract. I think, I mean, maybe a big, you know, what, Armenia Bielfeld, hold on, let's go see, uh, is in 10th and Hanover is in 14th. But still, how many, like, he's our leading goal scorer right now, right? Even more than Daryl DK. He's got 15 overall. DK's got 11 overall and 10 of those are in the league. So like, I'm not knocking DK. He's good too, but wowzers, my friends. Wow, azers. We, um, Chelsea beats Monaco, which is good news. Also, also, Club Rouge beat Monaco. Okay, so Chelsea is now qualified. If we beat Club Rouge, we've qualified. Clearly. I think if we draw, we've qualified. But sorting rules, if you're new around here, me and sorting rules don't get along. I'm not going to look it up. We're just, oh, no, no. We're not using that tactic. No, no. We're going to. Gagan press, baby. Let's go. Let's go. So we're going with DK, Origi, Vieira, Conceição. Zalazar gets a start because he's starting to go a little bit concerned about his playing time. They're in fourth. They get three points. I think Zalazar is not that big of a risk. Jakic, uh, Ryan, Aitnuri, Anel, Batella, Scarlat, and Penman. We are going strong. Aside from you could argue Zalazar, but Zalazar is really good at set pieces. So, like, whatever. Wahid, Balogun, Simons, uh, Costas, Valdez, and Kai Bru on the bench, my friends. Let's freaking go. They're asking me about complacency. I said, we're not worried about it. My team's always motivated. And it. Kevin in the Discord sent me the, the faces and I forgot to update it. I will get to it, Kevin. I appreciate all of your hard work to keep all of our players' beautiful faces on the screen for us. Just ticked over into the fourth minute here. Skylat misses. Jakic with a directed header to Frankie, but it doesn't work. I hate I hate when they do this. I just bring it down. Oh, okay. He's like, mine. Takes it back. Scarlet. Oh, I thought he was going to ping it forward. Frankie was making a run, but we hold it up. Batella, Jakic, and Akers of space because he's a ball playing midfielder. He's not really a playmaker. Cuts it back. Oh, it dribbles. Oh, almost in. Was that, was that Simon? No, that was Zalazar. Simon's is not on the pitch. Oh, I was hoping Zalazar was going to get a goal there if that was him. I don't know who that was in the middle, to be honest with you. Um... Come on, we're at home. We're at home, boys. Like, come on. Come on. Let's do something. I want to... Oh, oh. Zalazar, set piece maestro. Yes! That's why he's in the game. That's why we haven't sold him. Get in. Get in, son. Get in. One nil in the 18th minute. We're going to watch that from this angle. Oh, doinked it in off the post. Oh, chef's kiss. Let's go. That's our only shot on target. Demand more.
Okay, everybody but Frankie like that. Frankie's still working on the match match sharpness, right? He was he was out for a bit. Two on target to their three. Here's Zalazar, corner maestro. Oh, it doesn't work out. Why was Anel running away from the goal? Anel, man. Like, come on, know your role. Probably has something to do with the tactic I said. DK's offside by another mile. We're not even going to watch the highlight. I'm going to skip that. Again, if I could see that, you, you know what I'm saying. We, we saw he was offside. I can't skip it. Let me skip it. Oh, okay, skip. There we go. We saw he was offside. Thank you. Again. Again. All right, now we're even on shots on target. Still not great. Um, I'm going to say... I'm not happy. I got high standards, lads. It's 1-0. Penman is now going to have a stinker because he was demotivated by that for some reason. Probably because we're ahead. But it's like, dude, come on. Like, come on. They've made a sub. Okay. Flicked on. We'll get gig and pressing. Oh, positioning. Anel. Uh, DK's offside again, I think. But it doesn't matter because we gave position right back, so they might have just let it go. We punt it again. I know we're passing into space, lads, but, like, you could take a touch... Origi at the back post. Fourth goal of the season. He's not, you know, he hasn't done enough to get picked up. I'm going to say that. Wahid will decline the contract and go someplace else, and then Origi will get poached, and then we'll have, like, a massive problem in the front line. But in the meantime, Frankie brings it down deftly, and then right peg. Not known for the right peg. And then Origi with the tap in. The tap in, my friends. 2-0. Are we about to qualify for the next round of the Champions League? Is that about to happen? I don't know. Let's find out. Jakic is one yellow away. Batella having a good game, but tired. I think we leave it for now. We'll make some subs here in a minute. Zalazar. Okay. Frankie. Scarlett pings it in. Origi's there. Off the bar. DK passes it. Unselfish. DK with the pass to Rigi. Could have tried to smash it past the keeper. He's like, no, the better move. That's really good vision. I, I, I Let's be honest. I th To be like, oh, if I get it to him, is that is that actually what happened or was it blocked? It's what it looked like. Scarlet pings it in. Origi blocked. Maybe that wasn't the best decision, honestly. Like, the keeper was laying on the ground over here, but... You know what? Not going to hold it against him. We're going we're gonna to celebrate that. Get in get in um all right Batella was already quite tired we'll bring in Valdez Origi can't oh, he's on a hat trick but he can't ever go 90 minutes we'll bring in Balogun we'll leave one in reserve Valdez mate Champions League and you're complacent I mean I get look at all the play for set pieces stuff up here holy guacamole that's a lot of that's a lot of potential action my friends Pings it in, Balogun! Balogun! Ah, second goal of the season on the bounce. I'm going to go ahead and make a sub here. It says Frankie needs to come off. You know what? It's only eight minutes. I want to get... Oh, I didn't bring him. I was going to bring Metha Nilmaz on. We're going to take uh, Scarlat off and bring on Kai Brewer. Kai, come on in, son. Let's get you ready for your next start in the Champions League. <laughs> Although we probably shouldn't do that. There's still money to be... Money to be made here in in the uh even though we are going to qualify with this result. What oh oh what a finish. That was so good. I think that's a we gotta give a praise. We don't do that enough around here. Glyke moot that's uh, probably beat that's a that's a dead joke now, yeah? At least until next episode. Anyway, my friends, a four nil drubbing. That's a nice little bounce back. I like the reaction from the squad. We, we lose in a close game to Chelsea. We smash the next two teams in the league in the midst of an international break. And we come back and we smash Club Bruges. You, you've blown them away, lads. I love... Gert Verheyen hates me. And I love it. He gave some stick in the original press conference. I shot back in the pre-press conference of this one. And now he's like, I don't think they're as good as... Scoreboard? Sc sc scoreboard. Yeah, yeah. All right, my friends, we've qualified. We've got another 2.8 million. I am going to show you the finances here before we head out. But if you've enjoyed this, hit the like button and subscribe. Next episode is going to be probably the end of the transfer window. So that's way down here. RB, probably after Leipzig. Although, okay, I, I never know when the draws are, right? Like, when is the draw of the post-knockout run? 
draw dates december 14th and then the games are in february so that works that works we'll do the draw and the transfer window kind of update anything crazy happening in the league hopefully we still have waheed and origi and um uh, and then the episode after that will be the first knockout round of the champions league Here's where we're at in the league. We're three points off Bayern. We're four points off Freiburg, hoping that they drop some points along the way, considering we're undefeated. But if you enjoy this, like button. See you next time. Bye-bye.